welcome to the Ginger Bittner Chill Reviews for Chill People. We're here on this beautiful fall day in Vermont. Oh, it's winter time. <laughs> That's why we're both wearing jackets on our back deck and yeah. it's only September. First. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Um, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, um, so we're checking out this beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon because um, I believe yesterday or a day before was um, National Cabernet Sauvignon Day. Mm -hmm. And... Um, this is a beautiful Cabernet to try from Eco Torino. Yeah, so we've actually been to this vineyard yeah. uh, in Sonoma and uh, just had really awesome time there. They were just so generous. Uh, they showed us around. They, they uh, took us around the vineyard. We, we had Samson with us and Samson got to run through all the vines yeah. and uh, Justin even got a uh, uh, training on how to trim yep. vines, yeah. which was really amazing. Uh, yeah. and, yeah, so we're really excited to review this wine uh, today. It's, it's really great. Yeah, and this was actually the vintage Roger and I got to taste when we were there. It's been aging now for two years. Oh, wow. So I didn't even know that. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pour a little bit of this yes. and um, we can chat. Um, they're completely biodynamic in the Alexander Valley, which is right off the North Coast Mountain Ranges. So the vineyards, they're set right on the Russian River where... Gorgeous color. Yeah, right. Uh, where you know a lot of the best Pinot Noirs are growing. Um, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wine. Yeah, so um, it's it's funny because when we were there, they, they would tell us about the problems they had with the deer coming in off the mountains because they're right off the mountainside there. And then the um, <coughs> all the wild boar coming up from the Russian River. So Eugenio, That's crazy. <laughs> right? Eugenio got his first puppy dog this year. Yeah. Um, so Eugenio is the lead wine, uh, the lead vineyard manager. Yeah, um, really awesome guy. Awesome Super guy. Dynamic guy. Um, yeah, he does. Um, he's biodynamic, like crazy genius. Um, I know Daphne also helps out with Eugenio and um, teaching with all the different biodynamics. Um, we got to meet with Jennifer, one of the most lovely ladies. Um, yep. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was one of the a great experience. So. This Cabernet is made by Mark Lyon. Beautiful nose. Oh my god. Yeah, so I'm getting um, is it like a tobacco, pipe tobacco. Yeah. Like, is that, uh, yeah. Almost like um, if you were to take a pencil, mm -hmm. like to just shave it. Oh, yeah. Pencil, yeah, like pencil shaving. A little bit of that graphite in like fresh cut, kind of cedary, yeah. woody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cedar. Yeah, yeah. definitely cedar. But you still get the vanilla, which is kind of a hint here, is they use two different types of oak. Mm. They use French oak and they use American mm. oak. So American oak you get cedar, mm -hmm. where French oak you get more of those vanilla mm. um, undertones. So it's kind of a little bit of a hint. Mm. Oh wow. So Justin always waits a little longer to taste. I, <laughs> I already tasted mine and I'm getting, I think, peppercorn, definitely peppercorn, some, um, some fig and like anise, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, right. those baking spaces, and it's just so well balanced. Mm. I think part of it is because you decanted it as well, which yeah. we didn't talk about. Um, you mentioned that this would need to be decanted for... Yeah, I would say about 60 minutes 60 or so. Minutes, yeah. Give it some time. And so we had a little bit of this out of the bottle, and it was kind of tight. Yep. Like it really needed to... Yeah. to breathe and open up and it's just like I'm a believer in decanting now yeah. because it just really opens up the, all the flavors um, yeah at first amazing. you'll notice the acidity will be a little bit tighter in your mouth and you'll say okay if you decant it that'll loosen up and those other notes will able to kind of nuance out of those sharp sharp acid mm. notes um, so you get the molasses that mm. you get from aging yep and molasses it finishes that off like super clean mm-hmm and it's not too heavy. No, not for a cab. I mean, oh. usually cabs are so big that they can be intimidating to some people, but this is uh, beautiful, so complex. Like I'm getting like some fig, some toffee at the end. Oh, gorgeous, gosh. gorgeous oh, wine. The black currant yeah. and that cherry, but the cherry has been like bruised and like, mm. like a little old, like you left it, you left it out a little long. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful. Okay, so how many red beers do you want to give this? I'm a little biased with this one, but because <laughs> I love them so much. Yeah. But this, I'm definitely going to give this a five out of five. Yes. <laughs> no, I really think so. It's showing beautifully for a cab, especially yeah. the age. 
Um, the, I mean, the length of it is just, I mean, you're 15, 30 seconds, and you're still getting these cherry and toffee and mm. these aged notes. Um, I really, really think it's a great example for a cab from the Alexander Valley. Um, and they can find this, where can they find this? Yeah, um, you can con contact Eco Terreno directly. They'd be happy to help you out. You can find it all over California. Mm -hmm. We distribute it out here on the East Coast. You can find it online. They can ship to you directly. Yeah. So just um, do a little Googling if you can't find it at your um, local shop. Or you can even DM. Uh, or, yeah, DM me, definitely help yeah. you out. Um, and I also want to say Mark is, um, is, great, is a great vineyard to support because Mark is um, a great a philanthropist. He's, he's um, openly gay. He supports a lot of gay organizations as well as women's rights and mm -hmm. women's PGA and golf. Yeah, so the PGA is, golf, yeah. Yeah, they really do a lot. Um, yeah. Definitely check this wine out, not only for um, the work they do in the community, but just how beautiful this wine is. Um, and it's worth every penny of the under $30 you spend on this bottle. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous, huh? <laughs> All right, so please subscribe or visit us on uh, Ginger Vintner on Instagram. We'll see you there. Cheers. Cheers.